So hello everybody and welcome to 25 days of Dax Fridays challenge. This time it is day 17. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go down below and check all the details to participate in the challenge. It's not too late, never too late. And if you're here to check what the answer is for day 17, if you're stuck or if you just want to know how I did it, this is the video. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how many products need to be restocked based on restock levels? This is one of the things that you need to understand the question in order to solve it. So what is basically asking you, we're going to first do it without DAX as always. So product name or product ID, either it works with this data set. So product name and then items, here is restock level. And this is stocked unit. So what it's asking you is how many products this stocked unit are lower than restock level. It means that you need to actually restock them, like buy them again, put them in stock. And there is actually, a, I don't know how to do it without DAX here. You can't put a filter based on another one, another measure. So what I did is I created this table and then put it into Excel. And uh, just do a very simple if condition. And then I found that these are the products that need to be restocked, where the stock levels are lower than the restock level, or the stock quantity is lower than the restock level. And there are 18. Okay, so 18 is the number that we need to get in our tax measure. So how do we create it? Let's go back to Power BI. Now, day 17 measure. This is actually fairly straightforward, believe it or not. You know, sometimes you think like, oh my God, that tax is going to be tough. And then it's just like easy. So we're going to calculate the number of products. So count products where we're going to filter the product table where the products unit in stock is less than the rest restocked level. Push enter, day 17, put it in there, and then you have it, 18 products. So if we would put them in here, and then have the is not blank, apply, then we will see the same products that we saw in Excel. So this was fairly easy, wasn't it? You know, sometimes, Access very easy, sometimes it's a little bit more complicated. It just depends on what you're trying to do. Now, let me know how did you solve this and how many do you have right so far? Are you enjoying the challenge? I will see you actually tomorrow with day 18 as always. So until then, take care.